What's up, doll babies? I'm Dow, and I'm back for another video. Period. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, welcome back. And as y'all can see by that title, I'm about to be doing a story time on how my ex best friend scammed me out of $400. Y'all, I cannot believe I'm talking about this. I haven't talked about this in over 10 years, but. We about to get into it. Get y'all popcorn, get y'all wine, get y'all do because it's about to get real in the field. I got my wine, y'all see that? Barefoot Moscato peach. I'm about to pour it up because baby girl, oh, she really scammed my dumb ass. Okay, let me get a last drink of the drink before we get into this topic. Y'all, I think I might be the only YouTuber who don't, like, beat my face before I start my video. Like, I just don't wear makeup, so. Anyways. So, anyway, we gonna say my best friend name is Tanya. Okay, so a little bit of background. So, a little bit of background about me and Tanya. We had met in ninth grade, and we were just best friends. Through the ninth, oh, that's the twelfth grade. We was best friends. Like that was my, that was my ride or die. That was my bitch. That was my girl. We was, that was my best friend. Like, like that was my real life best friend. For real, we used to do everything together. Skip school, catch the bus to the mall. Just that was just my best friend. We was just cool. Well, I thought she was my best friend until, hold on. So after high school, she had met this guy. We're going to say his name, Chris. Y'all, I hope I don't forget these names. I might fuck around and say their real name. So, Tanya had ended up meeting this guy named Chris or whatever. I never met him, but I just didn't like him. Like, me and Tanya used to talk on the phone every single day. She used to tell me everything. But, like, once she got with him, like, she just started to change. Just conversation-wise, like, she just started to change. But it's cool. I know how it is when you get a man or you get in a new relationship. It's like, I want to be with my man. I get it. I've been there. I've done that. I know. I know how it is. So anyway, I had moved. I had ended up moving to the west side and she stayed on the east side. So we didn't really see each other much, but we still talked on the phone every day. So this one day I was on the east side and I had called her like, I'm on the east side. I'm about to stop by for a little minute and say, hey, what's up? See you for a quick second. And she was like, uh, no, nah, my man here. I just want to spend time with him and maybe another day. So I'm like, okay, that's weird because any other time I call and say I'm in the area, which is not all the time, I'd be like, I'm about to stop by just because I'm in the area and say, hey, and I'll be over there for like five minutes or less. So that was kind of weird. I'm just like, okay, whatever, maybe next time, whatever, whatever. So, this nigga had to start putting his hands on her, like, start beating her and shit. And I'm just like, you need to leave that alone. Like, you need to stop fucking with him for real because, you know, we too young for that. But she wasn't trying to hear it or whatever. We still talk every day. Conversations will get, you know, just not the same. So, we went from talking every day to talking, like, once or twice out the week, which was fine, whatever. So this one time, y'all, she had been calling me like every day. And I'm like, she don't call me every day. Something must be wrong. But I ain't saying nothing. I'm thinking like she gonna eventually tell me what's up. I'm thinking he beat her ass, broke her leg, something, something like that. So she had called me one day and she like, bitch, what you doing? I'm like, I'm at the bowling alley because it was my ex-girlfriend's birthday party. Y'all, I remember this like it was yesterday. I'm like, I'm at the bowling alley. I'm at the bowling alley at a birthday party. What's up? She like, girl, I just got $4,000. I'm about to go buy me a car. I'm about to go get me a room. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. I'm going to talk to you later because I'm at a party or whatever. So we got off the phone, whatever. I didn't think nothing about it. I'm just like, good for her, you know, shit, whatever. So the next day she called me again. She like, what you doing? I'm like, nothing, chilling, whatever. She like, bitch, don't you want to know how I got this 4000 and I'm like, yeah, how you get the 4000 or whatever? She like, um, my friend work at a bank and whatever. And he just, 
he just add another zero to the amount or whatever. So I'm like, okay. She like, girl, all I did was put $400 on the card and he just added a zero and I got 4,000. He just added a zero and I got 4,000. I'm like, dang, that's what's up. I'm like, for real? She like, yeah. She like, y'all want to do it? Talk about me and my ex-girlfriend. I'm like, I don't got no $400 at that time. Y'all, I did not have no job. Like, I ain't had no job. I wasn't working. I was fresh out of high school, was not working at all. But my ex-girlfriend at that time, she had a job. She had a nice little paying job or whatever. And she like, you know your girlfriend to give you the money, just ask her for it. And y'all about to get 4000 so why why won't? So why wouldn't she do it or whatever? So I'm talking to my ex. I'm like, yeah, she like, all we got to do is put $400 on a green dot card and here add a zero and we have 4000 And I'm believing it because I'm like, this is my best friend. Like, she wouldn't play me. And I'm like, she had, she was at a hotel room. Like, she really was at a hotel room. So I'm like, yeah, she just got her hotel room and she about to go get her a car tomorrow. And so we like, we don't know. We might do it. We'll see. We'll think about it or whatever. So the next day she called back. She like, what's up? Y'all want to do it? So I'm like, okay, girl, what we got to do? She like, just go to CVS or Walgreens, get a green dot card and put $400 on the green dot card. I'm like. Okay, what else? She like, I'm gonna give you the guy number and just call him after you put the money on the green dot card. So I'm like, okay, so we didn't do it that day. I'm like, I don't know. Let's just wait. Let's see. So the next day, the next day, I had ended up calling her like, yeah, we just gonna do it today. Is you sure we gonna get our money? She like, girl, yes, I'm on my way to the car dealership right now. I'm about to go give me a car. So I'm like, damn. Okay, so our dumb asses, we went to CVS. We got the green dot card. Now a green dot card is like a kind of like a prepaid card, like you could put money on it and you could spend it like a debit card. So we had went to the bank. My ex girlfriend got the four hundred dollars. Then we went to the CVS and she put the four hundred dollars on the green dot card. So then we called the guy. I'm like, yeah, my best friend told me about you. Blah blah blah. He like, yeah, I know she told me about y'all. What's up? Give me the numbers off the back of the green dot card. Now, mind y'all, this scam, a lot of people be doing this scam now, but this scam is so old. And this was before it was like really hot like that. Like a lot of people didn't know nothing about it. That's how I ended up getting scammed. But anyway, he like, give me the numbers off the back of the green dot card. So I'm like, okay, we gave him the numbers off the back of the green dot card. He like, I got two people in front of y'all. Then I got y'all. I'm gonna call y'all back in like 20 minutes. I'm like, okay. So I'm still at this point. I'm not thinking another. I'm not thinking it's a scam. I'm thinking like, bitch, we about to get some money. So I'm just, we sitting there, we sitting there waiting 20 minutes. We just riding around, just driving around, waiting on this nigga to call back. So we waited like 20, 25 minutes. I called him back. I'm like, what's up? He like, I'm still working on the other two people. I got y'all. Give me 30 minutes. I'm like, okay. So I called my best friend like, yeah, we did it. He said, there's two people in front of us and then um, it's our turn. We're going to get our money. She like, all right, well, call me and let me call me back and let me know when y'all get your money. I'm like, all right, cool. My fucking, my little boob keep popping out. I'm like, all right, cool. So like an hour went by. He ain't call us. Calling, he ain't answer. Texting, he ain't replying. So at this point, I'm like, oh my God, like what the fuck? But I'm like, nah. I ain't about to trip. Maybe it's taking him longer to do them other two customers or whatever. So like two hours go by. And at this point, I'm furious. So I'm calling my best friend. I'm like, why the fuck he ain't answering? She like, for real? Oh, hell no. Let me call him on the three-way. So she'll call on the three-way. He won't answer or whatever. So we just call him, sending him messages, all kind of stuff. He not answering, calling off different numbers and all that. Not answering. So by this time, it's about time for my ex-girlfriend to get ready to go to work. So she like, well, I got to go to work. She was mad as hell. I was mad as hell too. But I'm telling her, like, I'm all on my best friend's side. I'm like, man, she ain't cut like that. She not going to play us. Like, we going to get the $4,000. i am like, we ain't even got to get the 4000 He could just give us the 400 back. So I'm calling my best friend. I'm like, look, tell him we don't even want the money. Just give us the 400 back. She like, girl, I've been calling him. He ain't answering. So I'm like, what? I'm like, okay, so I end up, mind y'all, I ain't had no car at this time either. So I end up dropping my ex-girlfriend off at work. And so my best friend ended up calling me like, where you at? I'm like, I'm in Sterling Heights. 
just drop my ex-girlfriend off at work. She like, well, I got a room out here in Warren because Warren and Sterling Heights, they next door to each other. She like, look, I got a room out here in Warren. I got it for two more nights. She like, y'all want the room? Y'all can have a room. And I'm looking like, I'm like, no, we don't, we don't want no room. Like, we don't want no fucking room. We want our fucking money back. I'm like, no, we don't want no room. We just want the four hundred dollars back. And I, so I was like, uh, well, since you got four thousand, I'm like, can you just give us the four hundred? And she was like, well, you know, um, I just went up to the car dealership. And they saying I'm about to get my car in two weeks. I had to put 2000 down and I got to wait till I get the other 2000 So I'm like, hold on. If you had $4,000, why would you only put $2,000 down on a car? You could have just put the whole $400 down on the car. But at that time, I'm still not in my right mind. I'm just thinking like, okay, something not right. But I'm still giving her the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, look, you know that money wasn't mine. So... Just give me at least $200 of the money so I can at least give her half of her money back. Because I felt so bad. I'm like, just give me the $200 so I can give it to her. She like, all right, I got you. I'm going to give you the $200. I'm like, all right, well, I'm at Sterling Heights and you say you are Warren. I could come and get the $200. She like, no, no, because see, I ain't in Warren no more. I'm on my way back home. We not even going to stay at the room no more. Just a lot of bullshit. So my mind is just everywhere because my ex-girlfriend keep calling me saying what's up. And it was just a lot, like a lot, a lot, because I was just like, are you kidding me right now? So, y'all, I was just so hurt. So, I, I just went home that day, and I was just really sitting there mad as hell, like, did this bitch really just play me? Did this bitch really just play me? So, I end up calling the 1-800 number on the back of the green dot card. And I'm explaining to them, like, yeah, I just put some money on the green dot card, but when I call, the money is not there. Like, I need to know where the money is at, what's going on. And she like, uh, well, it shows that the money has been uploaded onto a rush card. Now, a rush card is like um, a prepaid card. You put money on there and you can use it like a debit card. So she like, the money has been uploaded onto a rush card. I'm like, um, what's the name on the rush card? She like, unfortunately, I cannot give you that information. I'm like, well, can you give me some kind of information, like something, an address to the rush card or something? She like, ma'am, I cannot give you none of that information. I'm like, she like, ma'am, I cannot give you none of that information. So I call my best friend back. I'm like, bitch, he put the money on a rush card because I just called Green Dye. And she all like, what? No, the fuck he didn't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you serious? See, now I don't want you to think that I had nothing to do with this. Let me call him. Because uh-uh, because I got my money. So I'm like, look, if you got your money, I'm about to meet up with you to give me two. So you could give me $200. Like, at this point, I'm telling her, like, give me the 200 Give me $200 so I can at least give my ex-girlfriend half of her money back. And she just kept making up little bum ass excuses. So after this happened, all this happened in one day, we we ain't talk. Like we just stopped talking. Um, I had just like I was just like fuck it. Like damn, that's fucked up. My best friend just scammed me. My motherfucking girlfriend at the time, it was her money because I ain't had the money, so I just had to get four hundred dollars from her. Now I look stupid. Like I look dumb. I don't got no job. I can't give her $400 back. So I was just like, dang. Like, I just, I was so freaking hurt, y'all. I cried, like, almost every night because of this. Like, I was just so sad. Like, we really got got. But I will say, I did not force my ex-girlfriend to do it. I talked to her and I asked her, like, do you want to do it? Do you think we should do it? Like, it's up to you because it's your money. And she was like, yeah, we can do it. But I didn't like tell her like, oh no, we doing it. Like go get the money. No, it was nothing like that. We talked about it and she said like, okay, whatever, we'll do it. And we did it. And we got scammed. Scammed like a mug. So of course I had made a status on Facebook like a couple months later, you know, made a status about what happened, tagged her in the status. Of course, she ended up blocking me. Then she left a comment like, why would I scam you out of $400? I can't do shit with $400. $400 can't do nothing for me. Um, that's that's petty cash. That ain't nothing. Just going off, but she scammed me, y'all. She scammed me. So, this was like years later. Years, like six years later, probably. 
probably like four years later i don't know but she ended up reaching out to me again like she unblocked me on facebook and she sent me a message to my inbox and she like called me i'm like the fuck i'm gonna call you for but i called her and she like hey how you been and i'm dry like i'm talking to her so fucking dry and um i'm like i'm good what's up how you and such and such doing she asked about my um girlfriend at the time and i told her like yeah we broke up we ain't together no more like what's up like what's good she like look i just want to apologize to you honestly i did not have nothing to do with that still lying y'all six years later however many years later did the bitch still lying she like i just want to apologize to you i didn't have nothing to do with that um i'll pay you the 400 dollars back she like i had my cousin did it like two of my cousins did it and i had to pay them back and i paid them back she's like so i'll pay you the money back and i told her just like this i said look it wasn't my money so you don't owe me anything i told her like I'm not with the girl no more. I'm like, you can find her on Facebook. I told her that this is what I told her. I said, I'm not with her no more. It wasn't my money. I said, you can find her and add her on Facebook and you can get her the money because it wasn't my money. So I don't I don't want the $400 because it wasn't mine at the end of the day. The bitch won't go give me the $400 anyway. So I told her like, you know, you can add her on Facebook and you can give her the money because I'm good. I don't want the money. And she was like, okay, well, I was just reaching out to you to apologize. I was like, you don't have to apologize to me. I'm good on you. Like, I'm good on you. Like, I don't, I'm good on you or whatever. And she was like, all right. And we got off the phone and we never talked. And um, she ended up having a baby by this guy. She ended up having a baby by him. I, and this nigga was beating your ass. Why would you have a baby by somebody that was beating your ass? But anyway. So anyway, um, a couple years ago, probably like three years ago, she had wrote a status on Facebook like, I got a room at Greek Town. I'm about to sell it. Who want it? $60. And I wasn't thinking. I'm just reading the status. And then I commented and was like, I want the room. But then I thought about that shit like, hell no, this bitch a scammer. What the fuck I'm talking about? And then I wrote back. Then I wrote another comment and was like, never mind. I just realized who I'm talking to. And then she inboxed me telling me something. Trees don't do me like that. Like, no, I'm not doing you like nothing, bitch. I'm treating you like a scammer because you are a scammer. <sighs> yeah, I know this story might be all over the place, but hopefully y'all can kind of get an understanding about how it went down. Um, we still friends on Facebook to this day. Me and her are still friends. And y'all, let me tell y'all, she work at the unemployment office. So y'all be careful giving y'all social security card number out because she just got a job at unemployment. So she got everybody information. All she needs is a social security card number and... I ain't saying she will do some grimy shit, but I'm saying she played me. So I would never trust her again, like ever. Um, I still wish her the best, like, but she definitely played me and my ass girlfriend out of $400, y'all. And to this day, like, I can't trust nobody like that. I don't give a fuck. It, 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Yes, that was some time ago, but at the end of the day, she still played me, like, that shit was bold on so many levels because first of all you was my best friend second of all you know i didn't have no job so you knew i didn't have no money so i was already down but then you want to scam my girlfriend at the time like it, it was just too much it was just too freaking much like just too much and then when me and my ex-girlfriend had broke up we broke up because obviously she was cheating or whatever 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 so i ended up leaving i left the situation and you know got my own place moved out or whatever and this bitch gonna have enough to say i feel like you was in on that shit when your best friend scammed me out of that four hundred dollars i'm like are you serious i'm like well if you feel like that you should have left me a long time ago because if i feel like my girlfriend is scam me i'm not about to be with nobody i think who would sit up there and scam me so i told her like girl you stupid as fuck why would i why would i scam you out of four hundred dollars when i could have just asked her for four hundred dollars and she would have gave it to me. Like all I had to do was ask her. She would have gave it to me. But I'm not the I'm not the type to ask for nothing like that. Like that's just too much money, especially at that time. And I'm pretty sure that my best my ex best friend did not get all the money. I'm pretty sure she had to split it with some people. So she probably got a hundred dollars, maybe one fifty out the deal. I'm pretty sure she did not get the whole four hundred. So, but yes, that is it for this story time. Before we go, I'm gonna take a little more sip of the sip, y'all. I need a little bit. Mama, love thirsty. But yes, y'all, be careful who y'all call y'all friends because I literally used to call her my best friend. Like, 
everybody knew that we was like this. That's why when I would tell people the story, they used to be like, are you serious? Like, yes. Like, yes, I'm serious. But I don't put the blame totally on her because it was the boy. He was in her ear, but she still, she still was wrong. Like some stuff you just don't do. Like she could have, hold on, let me, let me drink this because y'all go on and on. Like I could really, I could understand if she called me on some stuff like, what's up trees? Um, you want to make some money? You know, somebody that will be dumb enough to do this and you can get like a hundred dollars out of it. Like I could see if she was trying to like put me on and ask me if I know somebody who would have done that, even though I would have been like, no, cause I'm not going to play with nobody money at all. Like I'm not going to play with nobody money. But she could have came at me like that and I could have just been like, no, I don't know nobody. Or, you know, you keep doing what you're doing. Keep that over there like I'm good. But for her to just, like, really just scam me like that, like, that shit hurting me. Yeah, she really fucked me up with that one. Like, and to this day, that's why I don't have a best friend. Because I don't trust females. I don't trust nobody, really. Like, it's hard for me to trust because, you know, my own best friend scammed me out of $400. Like, what, $400? Like, now that we're grown and we older and we got money coming in, $400 is, is not worth your friendship. I don't think no amount of money is worth a friendship anyways, but really $400, which you probably got $150, give or take, maybe $200. It wasn't worth it, but at the end of the day, she lost. You know, she, she'll never prosper because of the shit that she did in her past, but... It is what it is. Y'all, I ain't going to talk y'all to death. But thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I make a post. Because y'all already know it's lit over here. Period. Ah. And as always, bad bitches in the bag. Bring them to the front. Period. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.